Shan gets taken ages into the hands of Skeeter and Ziggler. Yeah, they may have come too close to the pit already. The jump on the puppy, they dropped the on this. No, it was the Rolling Thunder locking puppy down across the stairs. Puppy falls, and Zayats, he's got to run. Uphill miss there, protecting from that first instance of the Scardi attack. And Zayats, he's still got no chance of running. Oh, he's, Rezo. Up. he's out of close on Rezo, gets the top back. Oh so much to deal with him. Radiant, awesome. out with the smoke. And he's trying to get in there with the jump on the 33. See if they can take down this big spot before we get in the roll. They're in on top of the 33. He's having the BKB off those out the side. They turn Skeeter. It's oh, too oh, much oh. damage from the Medusa. Nisha jumps in. Will be able to finish off 33 in return. And we'll see the buyback coming straight away from Resolution 9. He's got a pretty deep hit to try and chase down Puppy. So with a bit of time there for the Rolling Thunder over towards Resolution. Resolution did buy back for this. He's able to sidestep the Aaron tight. Nine out with the swashbuckle secret. They'll look to chase, but the blink's there to. before the slide fist connects. He's out to safety nine. Yeah, I want to get back in. Saxa in with the top door on the side. This is one the lockdown. Nisha, oh Nisha. Out for a hundred. As Tundra. They'll chase him now. Rezo. Gone without buyback. It's only Puppy and Grizzly. Puppy. And the arrow. The arrow's there. Tundra catch him out. They're ready to run down mid. There's a lack of buybacks on Secret. Secret felt the need. They that had is to... literally more strength. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Avery. <laughs> Snowball in. Zion's being pulled into a nasty scenario where he'll just be avalanche. Now Chrysalis is out. Oh, look at that. Zox immediately tried to pounce on the Monkey King to get him off the tree. Still got him in the end. Is he going to be able to get off a of BKB? They've got the Lotus Heart to be able to help him out. He pops BKB now. Turn Static Storm. There's no real Naga Siren there. They've also caught Puppy in the side. So the two supports will die. Neither one has a high back at the Skeeter. Woo. Just small, see small opportunities like this arrow. Soxa looking for an opening. Doesn't go for the toss back. It's the infringement. Magnus getting caught. He's trying to jump in. Also nullifiered as well. Three ball is coming in. Resolution needs to be able to get outside. Man, to get the kick back on his sinking and snowballs his way out of there. Prince Lutz sees an opportunity. Hits him with the bounce strike and the static storm will hit him off. Nine is almost dead. Nisha's been messing around with him, but at the same time, toss falls. Nisha all in and trying to chase down this OD. Last run into the BKB. He couldn't fight him. TP out. The BKB expires. Socks up to finish him off with the help of nine. This OD just way too elusive on the back end. So much help as well. And that was a refresher for this Ember. He's going to have to expend buyback here, but he is not going to have that up, which means no BKB for the full duration. Buyback one, buyback two. Skewer away. Hold out, but at the same time, a dieback on the Disruptor. Chrysalis jumps in immediately in prison. He's not going to get off the Wukong's command. He goes for it, is. and he doesn't have the BKB either. Starts fighting up against Skeeter. Trying to hold it. Oh, what a kick back. Right, right in front of the monkey kick. Oh, what a beautiful kick. Buybacks here. Odie coming back in. With Tundra. the song, setting things up. They Devil have the improvements ready to go. They're going to focus on this touch first. They know this repositioning is so damn bad for them. Oh, is oh, is three. Yeah. Oh, come in. Finishing off the Ember Spear to two buyback. They are all in on being able to hit either the best RP of your life, That's Rezo. No. One. It's denied by the imprisonment. He the tries to go for the bounce strike. He gets the skewer back now. But coming back into play, Chris is not going to be able to do anything. Immediately silence it. That is it. Tundra. The Dawnbreak ultimate on top of this to ensure the fast kill, but they're on the wrong side of this cliff. He's just going to try and use it to his advantage, so he has to have the shard out. There's no black hole to fear, so they can just kind of run headlong into Tundra, perhaps a freezing field. Keep it going, just managed to get that one kill. Resolution trying to finish it off, but Dawnbreaker Hammer can't go to three. Now Chaos Knight Skeeter trying to get the armor toggling, but Nisha delivers. Oh, it's not quite enough. The toggles keep going. Frostbite going out. Now Crystal is slow. Black handed shots, one after the other, but Skeeter stays alive through it all. He toggles through everything. Okay, Central saying, okay, that side of the map, they can't play. Let's go to the other side of the map immediately. Yeah, Moonlight Shadow in one as well. Found the gyro. Break. They did find the gyrocopter, an opportunity to be able to burst him out almost instantly. There he goes. The response from Secret, they tried to do some damage to the Tiny, only got him to half health. They fully give up now, leaving Puppy behind. Everybody else is going to be able to get out. Yep, we're good. Radiance Curse. Say, oh, spells just do nothing into the, the cliff. Horror. is down. The tier three is almost falling. His Tundra's gonna force this for two. Why that? Well, they put themselves on the front lines. They immediately do get the kick back on the Enigma. Is that who they really want to go for, though? They've lost their two supports for it. They're gonna buy back. But are they going to get anything for this? Even with the extra life, Puppy TP's in. Instant die back. Rezo turns around, used the magic meter to get rid of the Malphys, but then he's just dragged back in by Skeeter. Run down through the side. Zai's trying to get the opening. The Dawnbreaker ultimate. It's going to land and do a lot here with an AoE stun, but all these heroes are a bit of HP. They do 
not have enough to be able to cut them down. They need more damage. Crystal is trying to deliver. They finally do get it. They bring down the Chaos Knight. Run over the Enigma. Trying to chase for more. Oh, that's a Hello. Skeeter is prepared. One. Who steps into this first? Smoke dispel. They know that they're up here. We drop down the wall. Next exit is going to be looking for the nice jumping. Spear. Here's the catch on to Zaxa. Down with the spear, but he's still forced to side epic in the Leekhoff. Zaxa, Zaxa, he's away. He's out of the fight. And Baboka, he's having to deal with 33. 33 is actually going to look to bail out with the BKB TP out. Will actually kill Baboka on the way out there. Back in action. Mone finishes off the kill onto Snake King. He'll come back in with a the buyback. They've Ori. locked down Ori, though. He's in so much trouble. And Skeeter just doing incredible. Some damage the swash buckle bash over towards Siamese cat as well. Tundra pretty much impossible. Looks like they really want to try to take the fight. I like what Tundra are doing, they just kind of stop them. Oh, the jump. The doom. 33 is in the air. We do is there. He's gonna look to chase down Baboka. Baboka was ever get the BKP off, and they do manage to ensure that Monica can break away from 33. Ooh. Still, though, they've lost the two other cores XXS and Ori, and now Siamese cat as well. Short to follow. So they were trying their best. I really feel like you've run out of options at this stage. And there's the there's that refresher finished up for 33. They're gonna try. Be back. And with the jump, 33 will respond with the Axe Aoe Doom in on top of XXS. That'll be the bars going down. Has got buyback available. 33 moves over now towards Monet, but Monet was able to put the BKP in time. Keeps his distance. J Frog thrown out. Skin up off the oh fact as Monet has to bounce back under the safety of his tier fours. As Ori will go down, no buyback available for him. The Axe Phantasm. Now, just with the, the four members of Asta, is there anything they can do to slow this down? This here four is falling. 33 still has the refresh. He's able to catch Monet, Monet. Oh, my goodness. He is actually able to jump out in time. But 33 stands back up in on top of XXS. GG is cool. Damage if they do grab a target. Like in this area, it's been a bit of a death trap. Time and time again for Asta. Let's see if it's any different this time around. They get in with the opening over towards 33. But 33 pushed down to the side. The fear's there, though. Pushing back the spider. Shadow Dance the ready commits in over the wall. Siamese cat, Siamese cat falls. Still though, Skeeter's gonna get around it. It's Ori. Ori's done indeed. Ori's in trouble though. Attempt to push him out the side, but oh Skeeter's able to finish him off. Double kill for the Slark. That's Tundra. Now back off for now, back. but Skeeter's still very, very strong. Pounce over towards XXS. He needs help and he needs it now. Monet trying to get him over the fight, but he's already been disarmed. He's got a few raises for uh, over the wall. Skeeter, he's just taking them down one by one. Triple kill for him. Asta, they may have got the spider, but they get nothing else, and they lose four. Ultra kill for Skeeter. Oh, my. I mean, the way that they're just ping-ponging back yeah. and forth inside the fight. Also, I mean, this arrow, it goes in. And smart. Look at this lane ward. I see how he Focus is gone. And uh, maybe more. He's going to get a negative connection on to the Orcs. Monet, Monet gets the BKB off. He's trying to run, but Skeeter's chasing him down. Slark Diffusal, we're on a level 7. Amar's just channeling. Yeah, he you know. Ooh, okay, okay. Snowball, they're gonna go for Misha here. Amar, still trying to set up. Good save from Taiga. The Crystal Main's still eventually gonna die. And look at that, Zaxa gets a really nice toss back onto the Oracle as well. Taiga does what he can, but ultimately, he's just gonna be throwing damage around before he eventually dies and gives another stack over to Skeeter. And the amount of pump, but yeah, they're still gonna go for that mid tower regardless. It's low, is a clip them. here. Free pick off on Misa, yep. but there is going to be the jump in from DTM. He's getting caught by the bird, perhaps. They were the work like cut out of mana. He's going for Zeke. gets burned out of all of his mana. They land the pounce there as well. And 33 is full hit. Here comes the epicenter and Misha with a great ultimate as well. The arrow! It stops the epicenter. No chance for Amar. A toss back from Soxa. What a hit with the avalanche shots combination, bringing everybody low. And Tundra just got to clean through the OG heroes. Oh, man. What an arrow to stop that epicenter. So much damage to gate in the fight. OG cannot clean it up. I'm not sure they were going to be close with that rate pack down in foot. Then suddenly you have no net worth and they just throw on you. I agree. This map is entirely Tundra's control. And like we saw earlier, they're just farming it up everywhere. I mean, Skeeter's just Lark. going into the whole team alone. Finds an opening here. Taiga not going to be hit by the arrow, but still hit by that extra pounce. He's going to have a little bit of help here. He does, of course, have the Aegis, so it's perfectly fine for Skeeter to be super aggressive here. After all, he's setting up the rest of the team to come in from behind. Nice block in there with the shards. Oh, it's going to set up an arrow. That's going to land onto Taiga. They're going to leave their supports behind. OG. Full bailing out once again. They do not have the firepower to win team fights. They cannot win this point. Yeah, we can see your goal. Uh oh. Follow up with the punch, the snowball, the arrow coming in as well. The streak 
more than two to twerk, but now they've got the pounce, and that's going to be good enough. Misha freezing field, but he get, just dies too damn quickly. BCM, he's going to be locked down. Amar goes through, hits the pro strike, only on to one. They're focusing on 33, but he is super tanky, and Skeeter is completely no uncontested. One by one, he will just knock down these heroes, take away their agility, and that is it. OG. Oh, GG out. This was no contest. Tundra, 26 and 7 in this game one. This on to him, but of course, not only does he have Oracle, he's got the Aegis, he's got a BKB. Charge from Ohio. Out there. Ooh. Caught two. Interesting. Manage catch two. The most important hero, Oracle, dies first, and Nisha's going to fall too. BTM has already lost his Aegis. Tundra, this charge in from nine may have just set them up for a fantastic team by the second party. He's going to get the charge on through. Doesn't actually hit the real Phantom Lancer, but the charge comes in from BCM this time with the Onslaught. He's going to go for the BKB TV out and just make sure he stays alive. At some point, it's a little bit spooky for OG to actually start the fight, like Avery was saying. Now Tundra just boldly going into the triangle here. Yuragi's going to start it off, though. Yeah, once again, they found the Shaker. Seeking, they found the Earth Shaker. That is so important. They had the chakra going out. So he's a little bit of force step away. Seeking helps him out. And he managed to reset. Meanwhile, Skeeter put the damage and already killed Misha. They're going to find the real Phantom Lancer here. Managed to get the ultimate off on him, too. He's going to make false promise. They need to be able to save him. Beats him right in the middle of things. Trying to go for the break, but the Vincent took hardly any damage whatsoever. And it seems like Tundra as a whole are looking pretty good as the Echo goes out in the back line to try and distance himself away from the this Kimisaw, and now the rest of the team starts funneling in. It's a game point. where this PL here, he's not really able to solo completely because there are so many stuns on Dire, there's so much kiting, there's the four staff, the invis, all this garbage. Uh -oh. Oh, they're oh, they found the Oracle. the Oracle, they add the vision, they get the charge, and they also hit Misha at the same time, so both supports already dead in this team fight. Meanwhile, Yuragi, most of his time was spent being stunned. Visage familiars and the Visage himself dropping one after the other completely yes, they stunned. Are. They found the real Yuragi. Can they get the arrow stunned? Not quite. He does manage Doppelganger away to the side. They have the Fisher to stall it up, but at this point, 33 in the back, though. Point. Oh, he is oh. back, and he's going to be able to catch. He's, they spotted the Oracle. Their charge is coming through, and he's already dead. BCM, meanwhile, does manage to grab 33. They've broken him and managed to get through his cloak, but he dropped down into stone form, so he's good. And Skeeter now comes in with a cleanup. A charge on through. Bumping BCM gets a bash as well. He's